All right, folks, joining me now, DeRoy Murdoch, senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research and Fox News contributor, and Douglas Murray, National Review Institute fellow and Fox News contributor and author of The War on the West. Gentlemen, thank you for this. This is, um, I don't know, it's a war on Western appliances, among other things, okay? <laughs> and I just want to give, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to make light. I'll take it as my next book title. Politics <laughs> and culture, you're 100% right. And you do mention the economy. But look, this is what they are banning, okay? Gasoline-powered cars, gas stoves, uh, light bulbs, toilet bowls, air conditioners, refrigerators, washers, microwaves, shower heads, dishwasher, and mobile homes. <laughs> mobile homes is kind of... Now, here's the thing, Doug Murray. Um, Western values believe in democracy, mm. okay? Now, we can have changes in policies, but there's supposed to be a vote somewhere, somewhere, House, Senate, mm. something. Look at this list of yeah. things that they are using in the name of climate change with no cost-benefit analysis, but more importantly, no vote. No. And that's why I call it dictatorial central planning, jamming it down our throats. Yeah, I actually think it's slightly worse than that. I was, I, I was at uh, Kathy Hochul's State of the State address uh, last year. You when she were? Was, yeah, when she was uh, announcing all these grand policies for how to make uh, New York and New York State better and uh, they announced the gas stoves policy, which has backfired, then, of course, pretended that the, that hadn't been announced at all, all the usual stuff. Here's the thing. Uh, every New Yorker knows that there are very basic things that the governor and the other authorities in New York should do and can't. They can't keep the citizenry safe. They can't keep the subway safe. They can't keep the streets safe. But they do know which light bulbs we should all use, and they're going to crack down like hell on that. Right. And although they can't do the basic things that we actually do as citizens, we do require the authorities to do certain basic things we can't do, like police and much more. Um, they can't do those things, but they do think that they can control the temperature in the 2050s depending on the light bulbs or gas stoves or toasters that they make us use now. And I, I, I think that's just a massive distraction tactic. I don't think they're capable of any of this. Deroy, look at. Besides the fact that there have been no votes taken, these are <clears throat> everyday things. I'll call them necessities, but whatever they are, they're appliances, for God's sakes. People like them. Yeah. And they're being taken away. That's right. Now, exactly. there's something fundamentally sick about that, where you get a bunch of allegedly smart elitist bureaucrats in Washington, D.C., who think they have a lot more power than they really have. And there's, they know better than we do. I mean, okay, if you want an incandescent light... Here, you want to drive a gasoline-powered, diesel-powered truck? Then drive a bloody truck. They yeah. can't take it away from you. Yeah, I think my message to Kathy Hochul and Joe Biden would be, Kathy Hochul, you're not my mom. Joe Biden, you're not my dad. <laughs> Stop that's trying to mother right. and father that's, us. That's exactly And that's right. the idea. That's they treat exactly us like we're a bunch right. of children, and mommy and daddy are going to say, okay, no toaster for you, and no dishwasher, and you have to drive this car. And it would be one thing if all of these efforts to, to micromanage our lives, I think in a neo-totalitarian fashion, actually had some impact on global warming. Mm -hmm. But you look, for example, at the uh, Inflation Reduction Act that uh, Joe Biden signed back in August, about $370 billion in anti-global warming stuff. Uh, according to uh, Norberg of, of Sweden, I believe uh, is where he's from, he calculated using the UN's models what the impact on temperature would be between oh. now and 2050. It, it pushes expected temperatures down 0 0.009 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is like taking your thermostat and turning this it from... This is uh, Lomborg. Lomborg, right? Lomborg. Yes, Lomborg. Yes, that's Bjorn right. Lomborg. Bjorn Lomborg, exactly. yes. Thanks, that's right. Has no impact on it, anything. Like taking no. your thermostat from 72 degrees down to 71.999. So even if you think global warming is going to kill us, we have to stop it, this does nothing to address it. So even no. from their perspective of fighting this stuff, this has no impact on what it is See, they, they say they're trying to do. They, they, they never did any cost-benefit. They're violating, right away, re executive regulatory policy because there's supposed to be cost-benefit. But again, Doug, to your point, you know, the decline of the West and so forth, this is what these left-wingers think they can do to the rest of us. And I just find that extremely... They are taking our rights away. Yeah. They are taking our lives away. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the old, the old uh, saying, you know, fiddling while Rome burns... Uh, the authorities in America these days, you know, like trying to wrestle our toasters away from us, <laughs> whilst China is building massive coal-fired power stations every week, and it just it just makes no sense when you look at when you when you look out across the world as a whole at the moment. You know, people in America who have a mobile home 
are not responsible for the global warming figures. It's China that's responsible for that. Who is it that's going to do anything about it? Once again, the authorities in America, our governors, our DAs, and others seem to think that they can just, like, fiddle with these things that are way beyond them all the time, incapable of doing the few tasks we actually ask them to That's do. Right. Yeah. I mean, I want my shower head <laughs> yeah. to have some serious nice power. strong shower yeah. head. Manly I shower want head. my toilet. And, and I don't want Governor Hochul anywhere near it. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. That's, Kathy Hochul, get out of our showers, that's please. Exa- right. Now, here's Air one thing. conditioning. Air conditioning. I mean, here's yeah, one. This but, is a business but, program. But they, yeah. where's the vote, Deroy? There's no vote. Give me a, 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 a Show me a vote that's any right. place. If we're going to lose our guests. And it's not Hochul. Biden is my, Biden's doing the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, right. We, Hochul's just a little teeny if, weeny. If gas stoves are so terrible, let's have a, the gas stove uh, eradication act of 2023 and let the House and Senate vote on it. Mm. And if they get majorities in both places, sign. My question on all this is, where's the gas industry? Where's the dishwasher industry? There's a business program. Why are these businesses standing up and screaming bloody murder? Get your hands off our companies. Actually, stop, you know, stop ruining these enterprises we've built. They're silent. They're I'll totally to, silent. I'll look for the trade group. Where I are mean, they? The, yeah. uh, the oil industry has fought back very oh, hard. Tiny bit. No, not no, no, enough. No, not enough. They should be screaming bloody murder. Murder. No votes. I got to get out of here. Deroy Murdoch, Doug Murray. Thank, Thank you. We have never had you on the show. I'm so delighted. I hope I can come on again. You were fabulous. After this Very performance, kind. we're going to have you on a <laughs> daily basis. The two, at two least DMs. Three times two a week. DMs here. They're still talking.